You probably hear about a lot of different types of cloud, but today we're just gonna break them down, go through some quick definitions and clear the skies so that you can actually understand what's going on in the world of cloud. Let's get into it. We're gonna start with some different cloud models, kicking it off with number one, public cloud. Public cloud is basically just the internet. It's everything that is available to the public, to the general population, to people who inhabit this earth and can access the internet. So it's really well known for its very wide availability. Anyone who wants to use public cloud services can use them. So very handy. Thank you, internet. Done a great job so far. Then we have the private cloud. Private clouds are things that are used by a single entity. So that could be an individual person. It could be an individual company. It could be an individual group of people in whatever shape or form. It's just some sort of private cloud that isn't available to the entire World Wide Web, the entire internet. The biggest difference in this is really about security because when you have a private network or a private cloud, then it means that you can actually configure all of the security settings around it, kind of like border control in a country. You can decide what comes into your network and what goes out of your network and how secure it should be within different layers within your little network. So unlike the internet where you just have a whole bunch of people swimming around and everyone can see what everyone else is doing, when it comes to your own private cloud, like a virtual private cloud which you can set up with AWS, You've kind of got this little slice of the internet which is just yours that you can set up however you like. If you are doing some really important work or you've got your own important website and you don't want that data to be necessarily out in the internet, then this is where a virtual private cloud comes into play. Then we have a hybrid cloud which is a mixture of the public internet and then your own little private pockets here and there but you're making use of both. You might even have what's called a multi-cloud, which is where you are making use of lots of different cloud resources from lots of different places. So maybe you're using a little bit of AWS, maybe a little bit of Azure, maybe a little bit of Google Cloud, and you start to have them all together. The only thing about this one is that you've really got to be careful when it comes to security, because there's so many different moving pieces. You don't want to drop the ball and have something slip through the cracks. That's super, super important. Totally up to you, but that's my little word of advice there. Now how about different cloud service types? These are the ways that we can deliver our different cloud services. The first one that we have is infrastructure as a service. And you can think of this as in, they're giving you a lot of control, basically, to build everything from almost the ground up. If you think about this like a pizza shop, all right, Infrastructure as a service is you need to go and set up the kitchen, then you need to bring your own ingredients, then you need to cook it, but you are gonna have complete control over all of that sort of stuff. Basically, all AWS is providing you with is the raw metal to forge your own kitchen <laughs> and everything else you're doing. This is quite different to our second option, which is a platform as a service. Platform as a service is where they've set up a basic platform and now you can build on top of that. So if you think about uh, web designers, Squarespace, Salesforce is a great one, platform as a service. So you're not using the same app, you're building something unique on top of it. This is like in our kitchen example, like the kitchen's already set up, but you can bring your own ingredients, you can bring your own stuff, you go in there and you bake your pizza and it's such a good time. Again, a different layer to our last one, which is software as a service. Software as a service is where everything is basically set up for you. You just come into the restaurant, sit down, and someone brings you out your pizza. It's, it's already there. <laughs> There's nothing else that you need to do. These are the different levels of tools that you can have, and AWS has all of these, right? They have some services which are infrastructure, as a service, others which are platform as a service, and others again which are software as a service. And the difference is really how much you have to do versus how much AWS has to do. The more that you have to do, the, the more work it is, but the more control you get. Whereas if you just want things very automated, you might go for more of the software as a service, but then you, you lose a little bit of the control. It's up to you and what you're looking for, the level of customization, how much time you have, budgets, all of that good stuff. 
But I think that's it. Thank you so much. Happy learning and we'll see you next time.